Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Previously on Wind Waker, we got this thing that lets us lift really heavy boulders and power bracelets. Strength flows through your limbs when you wear these bracelets, allowing you to lift heavier objects than before. Press A to grab and lift things. We also learned that Tetra is actually Zelda in this game. That? Oh, that's the lighthouse. I didn't know that I could see it all the way out here. We also learned that we have to go to two different temples. One up here and one down here to restore the power of the Master Sword so that we can break the barrier and defeat Ganon. Or Ganondorf in this game. I always get them mixed up and I don't know if it really matters. It matters in some games. I'm not too sure about this one though. I mean, it, it matters in some games because some games only have Ganon, you know, yeah. So anyway, what we're going to be doing this time is going back to Windfall Island and doing a few side quests there because there were a few things that I forgot to do last that I forgot uh, were available in Windfall Island and some things I didn't know how to do. I tried to do some things last time, but I couldn't quite do it. We also started the... We also started the, um, the lighthouse up again, so yeah. So we just gotta go right over here to Windfall. And go right up here. Oh, whoops. Never mind. I'm just gonna move up here. Oh, what's in Beale's shop ship? I wanna see what's in here right now. I doubt there's anything too unique. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna stock up on bait. Whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna stock up on bait. Beetle's so cool. Whoops, no. I'm really glad that um, Beetle is in other Zelda games too, because like he's just he's just so cool. And I always appreciate when he's in. Oh, there's all the games because it's just nice seeing a familiar face yep. in um, different Zelda games. First, what we want to do is not talk to her, but instead go up here, go up to the windmill. Um, I I looked online for things that I can do on Windfall Island, uh, mainly the. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember what her name is, but following her around is a is kind of a side quest. It's a short one though, and you get something at the end. I didn't remember how to do that, and I looked up and found IGN an IGN wiki, and that has things there and has a few other things that I completely forgot were available. So we talked to this guy after starting the windmill and. Um, Making it go like that again. Talk to him. Fine night, isn't it? Do you see that, little man? The light in the lighthouse has been reignited. Check out the beam of light that sweeps out now, shining through the night's darkness. Seeing that brave beam fighting the gloom has made me so happy. I just feel like giving somebody a present. So here, I'm giving this to you, little man. And we get a piece of heart again. Uh, so now we have three of them, and soon we will be able to get another heart. Now Windfall is going to be even more lively than before. Hooray for everything. So we got that done. Um, and then we can also switch to this. And then we need to fly over to those doors over there that door. Well, you can't see it right now. But, you gotta fly over there. So, it's kinda gotta wait. Oh, I thought that was lightning. Go down there. Like that. To make it not as bright. And... And... Yeah. 
There we go. Got in. Go in here. We go in here and we can get some stuff. Break, oh, break these pots. Get tons of rupees. And some other stuff. Oh, not as many rupees on that side, but that's okay. Come on. Okay, and then we can open these treasure chests. And we get a treasure chart. Uh, from this one, anyway. And then... Open this one up. And we get a purple rupee. But then... Gotta pull out the camera. I didn't finish the picto box. Oh. Well, hopefully this works. I thought I... Forgot to finish the picto box quest. No, nope. I went all the way around. We take pictures of them. Yeah, that's a better one. And then we have to show this to someone else. Hello! Allow me to think. Ah, yes. I first started searching for pictographs that recorded the true beauty of oh, about 10 years ago. How interesting. Huh? Who's there? Oh, what are you do what are you doing here? Were you trying to give me a heart attack? Nah. Hmm. Now that I think on it, just how did you get in here? Why, I never even noticed you. You see any say anything else? Nope. Do you say anything? Oh. The camera's under the table now. Whoops. What? I'll have you know I've only come here to have him take a pictograph of my exceptionally beautiful skin. Oh, and the camera moved. What's that noise? There's something in my headphones is like click, 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 click. I hope that's not. It might be Windows related. Uh, I've been a hu I've been a huge fan of his pictographs for a long time now, so don't go taking this the wrong way. I won't. But you know what I'll do? I'll take the picture and then... I think give it to you. I think you you take it to her. Uh, I don't know. You either have to do that in here, or you have to skip time, and then show it to her. Why is it so dark in here? I have to raise the brightness a little on this. Hmm. Oh, I wonder what you say. Lately, my daughter Myla has been sneaking out at night to go somewhere. I suppose I could tag along and secretly follow her, but when I think about the possibility of her doing something bad, I just... If, and this is a huge unlikely if, if you happen to find Myla about to do some dishonorable act, will you stop her from for me? Just do it if you catch her in the act. Not that she ever would, but if she does, just jump out and stop her, please. Honestly though, despite how my little Myla may look, she is a kind child who thinks only of her poor father. She'd never do anything bad. Uh-huh, sure. Yeah, sure she wouldn't. Yeah, no, don't, don't worry about that. Oh wait, no, I'm doing it wrong. I need to go talk to her. Um. Over here. Oh, you have to L target. And then... And then open the picto box. Oh, this is... It's the pictographer, Lenzo. I thought his name was Lonzo. 
until I read on the I, IGN wiki, and now I'm reading it Lenzo. That's weird. That It's just weird that his name was different all this time and I didn't notice. And that pic pictograph-loving lady. I guess we were completely wrong about Lenzo having a girlfriend. It looks as though they're just old friends who happen to share the same hobby. Thanks for setting us straight, young man. We really should stop spreading idle gossip like that. You've taught us the error of our ways, and to thank you, we're going to give you something nice. Stick out your hand. And we get a treasure chart, and we so we can use this to find more treasure, which will be nice when we go back out on the ocean. Um. So yeah. We can actually get rid of these two pictographs so that it um, reduces space. So that it uses less. So. It doesn't use up any more space. Yeah, that's right. But now. We have to talk to her. She says to go away. But apparently. Um, what we do is we go up here and then she runs. But I was just right there. Oh, okay. That's right. I hope. Maybe I messed up already. Yeah, I think I messed up already. So I need to reset the time again, and then run faster, and actually hide. Oh, I didn't think that it should spawn in right there. Whoops. Now we can go talk to her again and hope I do this correctly this time. So she's right there, and then she goes over there. She's looking back. And then she moves. And then we can go over here. She's up there. We have to let her go on ahead a little. Otherwise, she will notice us. Um. I was just trying, I was just moving backward. Like the, uh... Like I was actually the camera. Did I wait too long? Oh, no I didn't. Okay. So now, we have to just walk up to her, right here. She startled me. What do you want? My heart is racing. You scared me. Wait, are you the kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. No, I promise. Just who do you think you are, anyway? I'm an ally of justice. A what? An, an ally of justice? I, I'm not a thief, I swear. I, I swear, I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please let me go. It was just an impulse. That's all. Just a bad idea. Why won't you say anything? Does this mean you're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. Sure. I was once a, the richest little deb, deb, debitante? I don't know. In this town. D 
Do you know that? Did you know that? But one day, a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune, gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now, every day, from morning until night, I'm busy working for the open air shop. So, as you can see, at least I'm trying to settle into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events in my pitiable life? That's terrible. And to make things worse, for some reason I still can't figure out, that slob Maggie, who is the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. It makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. Grr! Do you understand my plight? Yes. Then you'll let me go? Unfortunately, no. But why not? Because I'm honest. It's true, I know I'm quibbling over nothing, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. But it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I will never do anything like that again. Ah, what an amazing feeling. I've let, out, I left, I've let all of my worries out of my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. Let me at least thank you. Please take this. And for that, we get an empty bottle. You got an empty bottle. Said to and what? Use it with YZ or X. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Yay. Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. It washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made out of crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you can say the cheesiest things without blinking an eye. Humph. <laughs> so, um, I guess I should go soon. My father will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. Bye, thanks for tonight. Sure thing. So, we can't inspect the safe. Didn't look like she was... She was trying to crack the safe, I think. I'm pretty sure. From what I know, she was trying to crack the safe, but I don't think she was using a glass to, to listen to it like Jerome did. I don't, I don't even know if that's actually a legitimate thing that you can do for a safe or not. So, uh, don't do it. Obviously, for legal reasons, don't do it. Um, I mean, unless it's your own safe and you lose the key, then you can do it, but. Um, so we need to go in here. How many? Uh, we have eight skull necklaces. We need to give more to that guy later. But for now, we need to talk to Maggie here to get something. Oh, to think that I would survive my ordeal and return to this town. And to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, opulent house. It's like a dream come true. Hmm, but no, no, it's a nightmare without him by my side. It's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress. That sweet boy who gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from that cursed island. Expensive? I literally just steal them from them with my... Uh, the, the thing that swings around and I can throw it at enemies and get stuff from him. That thing. Just hearing his name lifts my spirits. Mo, the wonderful moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, Mo. Why, Mo? I'm always writing heartfelt letters filled with my overflowing emotions. But why don't you answer me, Mo? Ah. This is bad. Oh, terribly bad. I'm already drifted off into my own dr dream world. Oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Could you take this letter I've just finished inking and deliver it to the post box for me, please? I beg of you. Yeah. What? Really? You're such a dear. You've made Maggie so happy. You've got Maggie's letter. It's a letter from Maggie to her sweetie. 
Keep it in your delivery bag until you find a post box to drop it in. The post box, don't you dare forget, but you must promise not to read it. The secrets of a girl's heart are, are to be shared. I'm just remembering how this ends. The secrets of a girl's heart are to be shared only when she so desires. Okay, sure thing. Well, whoops. No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I guess I can just jump here. Yeah, I already opened that, I remember. Surprisingly, that's something that I actually remember doing early on in this series. So we need to go out here. And take the letter down to this mailbox. Oh. Put it on this one. Cabana deed and Maggie's letter. So put this in the mailbox. Oh. Cause chunk This post box is near Dragon Earth Island. Postage is only five rupees. Do you wish to send this now? Yes. Your parcel has here has hereby been accepted for delivery. Thank you for using the Island Postal Service. We appreciate your business. Now we Oh no don't send Don't send the Wind Waker <laughs> I need that. Puff. This item cannot be delivered. I, f I didn't know that you could actually try to send non-letter items in the mail. And I think I need to keep changing the time for a few, for a little while. I think I just need to talk to her. Oh yeah, we just need to talk to her and then go back in here. Yep. Honestly, you just don't understand, do you? Open up your ears. Silence. I'm telling you, we don't allow postmen here. Pagan, pagan. Don't be ridiculous. I went through great trials and tribulations to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress and return with Mo's letter. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Then please be reasonable. Can you at least sign for the letter? Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Just acknowledge I was here. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Rock! Foolish man, now you've made me angry. I cannot even look at you in the face any longer, or I feel I might. I must go somewhere else, to, somewhere to cool my feathers. Well, what a wretched, unruly postman. I don't know anything about any Mr. Mo in any forsaken fortress, and yet he always comes here bringing his letters. Does this Mo think I'll let him lay a hand on my one and only daughter, Maggie? I don't know whose letters they are. They'll never reach her on my watch. Oops. And now we have to go out here and go to the, the place over here. Coffee. Coffee place. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry, I, you had to witness me fly off the handle like that at, at Maggie's house. I'm most embarrassed. That man just... never mind. To tell you the truth, though, I came to deliver a dress to Maggie from a moblin named Mo. But as you saw, the girl's stubborn father wouldn't permit me to give it to her. What a stubborn, meddling old man, refusing to accept letters from the postman. Who's heard of such nonsense? I went to great trouble to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress, and it was a most frightening ordeal, let me tell you. If I don't deliver this letter, then I am a failure of the delivery trade. But I have other deliveries waiting to be made. I cannot mope here forever. Actually though, I have an idea. That old fool may not permit postmen on his premises, but surely he would allow you in the place, would he not? Could you deliver this letter to Maggie in my stead? What do you say? I'll do it. Honestly, you, young man, are a lifesaver. 
It truly never hurts to ask. I shall leave this letter in your care. You got the Moblin's letter. This letter has a sort of a stink to it. Take it to Maggie. I'm counting on you to put this in Maggie's hands, and I thank you. Did you say anything else? Ah, that lessens the weight on my shoulders by quite a bit. How nice. Perhaps I'll do a little sightseeing here in town before I go. Although I do have other deliveries waiting to be made. Say anything else? Nope. And now we need to go take that letter back to Maggie. And I just tried to click the analog stick in again. I keep forgetting that's not a thing on this game. Let alone the GameCube. So now that we're in here, we can, um, I can go into here, change the Moblin's letter, and go deliver it. Is, is that, could it be the letter from, from Mo that I saw in my dreams? Let me read it this instant. Um. This is Mo. I like you, Maggie, so much that I want to eat you for dinner. Did you hear that? Those words? This means... I mean, it must mean... Can it be? Is this his marriage proposal? It must be. At last, my feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last, he understands how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. True dee do dee lu la la. From here on out, today will be the anniversary of true love for me and Mo. Oh, it completely slipped my mind. I must thank you for your role in this. To commemorate my anniversary of a true love, I give you this. And we get a piece of heart. That's the fourth heart piece, completing, completing another heart container. Your life energy has increased by one heart. That, that'll that help out a little. Uh, treasure it always. I will. It'll significantly help. No, that doesn't break anything there. Yeah, I was just remembering how funny the, the letter is that he gives her. Maggie is not food, or whatever the equivalent of the Tatsu food jokes, which are... Kind of annoying, but like, it's all, but I look at it as, how are they gonna call Tatsu food this time? Rather than just being like, oh, it's the same thing. It's more interesting to, to look forward to seeing what they're gonna do this time when you choose this other food, or just randomly. Not even then. Sometimes it's just, in this part of the story, this happens, yeah. You're there, halt! Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out of here before you could say boo. But say, you look rather famili familiar for a street urchin. Have we perhaps met somewhere before? No. Mm-mm. I promise. I think that's, for now, that's about it. Um, I think that sounds good for this episode, actually. I feel pretty content with it. We did some stuff, got another heart container, and yeah, seems good. I think next time what I'll do is go to... there's another island somewhere around here. Oh, that's called Fire Mountain. I didn't know that. I need to go to... there's another island I have to go to someplace. I don't know where it is, but it's like, to get, to get the next item, I'm gonna go there in the next episode get that, do some other stuff maybe. I don't know. Goodbye for now.